check check one two one two Oh shit, this is working. Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy DJ and one here and I'm going to be doing something brand new and I'm going to be starting an entire video series dedicated to only one thing and that is making DJ edits. So when it comes to making DJ edits, I've made literally hundreds of thousands of DJ edits and I've spent hours and I mean hours of my life making these edits. I've had edits that have hit number one on the weekly charts for most downloaded on heavy hits, which means that my edit was downloaded more than any other song that was on the site for that week. I've also had my edits break the top five most downloaded for the entire year as well. So that means my edits are getting downloaded more than like a Billie Eilish song or a Justin Bieber song or even a Drake song in some instances. So the whole point of this series is to make it so someone who has no idea, never opened production software in their entire life, at the end of this, make a DJ edit that has the potential to top the charts and have DJs around the world download their edit because they wanna play it that badly or they know they can use it. So in this first video, we're just gonna sort of like dip the toes in the water and I'm just gonna kinda of give you guys like a high level overview of everything I use to make these edits possible. And then in the next episodes, I'll then go into the production software and break down how I make my edits and what you guys need to do to make those edits. That being said though, everyone needs to start somewhere and I think this is a good jumping off point for any DJ or editor, or anyone getting into producing that maybe wants to dabble in edits for them to start. So the first thing that I use, the DAW, which is my personal choice is Ableton. I see people use FL Studio, Logic, and Ableton. I personally like Ableton just because of the automation features it has. It's very easy and it's, it's, what am I trying to say? In terms of the software, in my opinion, I think it's the easiest to pick up on. If you're using FL Studio or Logic, don't be discouraged or anything like that. I still think there's a lot of great things in those DAWs, but my personal choice is Ableton. I use Ableton Standard. I do not use any of the very expensive packages for Ableton or anything like that. And another thing to note too is that I also do remixes and other productions as well. So I do need those sort of tools within Ableton. But if you're just doing DJ edits, you can get the very base package of Ableton which is $100. And the base price for Ableton Live Standard is $450. So if you're just getting started, I recommend using Ableton Live 10 Intro. It's the cheapest option for what you wanna go for and for what you're trying to accomplish. Everything within that software will meet the requirements that you want. Now in terms of sources where I get all of my tracks from, I go through heavy hits, obviously. But if you're a DJ out there using any other record pool like Club Killers, DJ City, BPM Supreme, go ahead, use that. I mean, it's whatever your preference is at the end of the day, whatever works for you. But you know, I would still use heavy hits because, you know, come on. Resources I use to get stems like instrumentals or acapellas, I typically go to heavy hits for all the instrumentals. I get a lot of instrumentals through heavy hits. For my acapellas, I go to heavy hits first. If I can't find an acapella on a record pool, there's two sites that I use religiously for this. The first one is a site called Vocaler.it. Vocaler.it is a website where there's just like a base of acapellas. You have a max of five downloads a month, but you can make multiple accounts, keep downloading acapellas. You can also pay for a subscription as well, which gives you access to all of their studio quality acapellas as well. So if you're looking for those really top tier 320 acapellas. Um, if they're out there, they probably have them. So the other site I use, like I said, for acapellas is acapellas4u.co.uk. That and Vocaler.it will probably have uh, the acapella that you're looking for. It might not be studio quality, especially if you're looking for those newer songs. You're not probably going to get the studio acapella. Let's I'll be 100% honest here. That being said, those are still two great sites that I personally recommend if you're looking to get acapellas. Dave! What? I'm doing a thing. Oh my God. <laughs>
Aside from instrumentals and acapellas, there is one site that I use to get all of my samples. When it comes to samples, I'm talking about drums, if I'm doing a redrum, like kicks, snares, hats, congas, etc., shakers, all that jazz, or even effects like white noise sweeps or impacts or glass breaks or anything crazy like that that sort of enhances the edit. I always use Splice. I use Splice for everything, like everything. It is $6.99 a month, if I'm not mistaken, and you get tokens so or credits, and then those credits you can use to then download things off the site. I highly recommend this. It's just a monthly subscription. And in my opinion, it pays for itself. You hardly have to do any processing to any of the samples if you're using a good sample pack or anything like that. The only other thing outside of Splice that I use for samples is any sort of Reed Stefan sample pack. His sample packs are amazing. So when it comes to samples, two things. You want to get a Splice account and if you aren't really happy with what you're finding on Splice, I recommend checking out Reed Stefan and checking out his sample packs. His sample packs are top tier. So now that you have everything to make the edit, let's talk about the things that I use to then tag the edit or customize it for your brand or my brand, let's say. So there are three things that I use. I use Jayco's. Um, J-A-I-K-O-Z. Yeah. It's a really great audio tagging software. So I pretty much just drop all of my edits in there. You can put the artwork on there. You can put the year the song was released. You can put the artist and then you can even change the file name as well. So you can pretty much properly organize all of your edits. You can package them in a very appropriate and professional way. Another program I use is Mixed in Key. So pretty much pop all the edits in Mixed in Key. It gives you the Camelot wheel. Yeah. The Camelot wheel will give you the key of the song for any DJs that are mixing in key. After I put my edits in those two things, finally I put them in Serato. I go into Serato and then I put any sort of custom loops that I want or any points that I think a DJ would benefit from having. And I also will set cue points. So on the first beat of the song, so DJs don't have to go in and do that. It'll already be done for them. I even recommend going on Rekordbox and doing that as well, just to sort of double dip. I've never really tagged on Tractor, but I don't really know if that's a thing. So other than that, my last recommendation is just community outreach. So if you're looking for something or you need something, when I started, I used Reddit all the time. There's tons of subreddits. You can do DIY acapellas. There's like a Reddit thread for stems. Just go on Reddit and type in what you're looking for in the search bar and I guarantee you there's a subreddit for it. Other than that, that wraps it up for the first video. Now you have everything you need to get started on making your first DJ edit. So look out for the next episode and I'll be back soon. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.